One of the aspects of making the assurance that was important to Heather and I was to flesh out the mythology of this world. Once we had a general outline of the story, we paused our writing in order to create this world. We answered questions like, why were they dying out? How long had this been going on? Who was this monster thing? Where did he come from and what was the threat? What did he want? Why didn't the gods intervene? What was the magic that Teani and Cordea had? Where did it come from? How did Teani know that Cordea was the assurance? Why was Garun so afraid of the girl? She must be banished. These are all questions that are not really in the final film, and most of them were never answered in any version of the script. But I think it was still important for us as the writers to know the answers to these questions. When you have a backstory or a mythology, in the case of a science fiction or fantasy film, it becomes like an anchor that you can refer back to when choices arise. For example, after we decided to have magic form in the hands of Teyani and then Cordea, we realized that we should know about how this magical stuff worked. So we created a pretty detailed backstory. To make a long story short, in case you're curious, in this world there are essences of the gods that linger in the air and Teyani and Cordea had the power to channel them, pulling them out of the ether. So when it came time to do the visual effects, I knew exactly what those effects should look like because we wrote the mechanics of what's happening already during the writing process. It's really easy when you're writing to just say, oh, a magic ball formed in her hand, but that's not great writing. So we fleshed it out and came up with the science behind it. We also determined that this was very difficult for Teani to do this, to form this magic and pull it out of the ether, but it came very easy to Cordea. And their acting performances were influenced by this mythology. The sound design was also different for both. So you can see how knowing the world that you create far beyond what's even written in the script can really help create a cohesive world that tells a much more truthful story. Now, does the audience need to know the science behind the magic necessarily? If it was a full length feature film, maybe, but not for our film and the time that we had. But the audience doesn't need to know your mythologies in order for them to have a powerful impact on every aspect of the film. 